Hi guys, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I get my mermaid waves. It's super easy to do so if you want to learn how to get these beautiful waves, go ahead and keep watching. I just showered about an hour ago and all I did was just um, dry my hair with the towel and I did wash my hair with cold water because it's supposed to make it shinier. The first thing you're going to do is part your hair down the middle. Now that we have our hair down the middle, we're going to go ahead and brush it out. Now that our hair is all brushed out, we want to go ahead and make sure that the top is very combed down so that it can be very sleek um, the next day. So we're just going to start regular braiding, but you want to make sure that you make your braid as close to your parting as possible. So that way the waves can start very high up. So I'm going to start braiding from up here. It's not as close as to the parting, but it should be fine. And then as you're braiding, you want to brush your hair so that your braid is very smooth. And then you're just going to tie it off. I like to use scrunchies because I noticed that the other ones, the black ones, they tend to like leave a mark and these don't. So I like to use these. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Then you go ahead and take your other scrunchie and tie this side off. Next we're going to add some coconut oil to our hair. And this is what's going to make it look, um, give it that wet look. So this is the oil that I'm going to be using today. It's Hollywood Beauty. I'm using this one right here from Target. It's about $5. So I just take a little bit. Um, you don't need a lot because then your hair would just look really greasy. And then I just go like this one time because then your hair, like I said, it's going to look very greasy. And then I add, it, I add the rest to the ends of my hair. So this is literally all that I do. I, I make sure that my hair is stamped and then I just do my braids and then I, cook, I put coconut oil on my braids. And then I'll go ahead and show you guys the results tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is now the next morning and I still have my braids on as you can see. And I'm going to go ahead and be taking them off so you guys can see the final results. Pretty. Okay, so this is one side. Very pretty. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And let me see. There are some parts, if your hair was damp and you put the coconut oil, it kind of stays that way for a while. But I'm going to go ahead and put her spray on top of my head just so that it can flatten down all the little flyaways. I'm just using this Tresemme. This is super old. I rarely use hairspray. So I'm going to be using this one on the top and then combing it down like this. I don't really know if you can see it on the camera but my hair is looking pretty shiny but I wanted to give it that more wet look, wet effect. So I'm going to be using this coconut oil hair serum. Um, by from Bath and Body Works. I'm just gonna take like this much. <laughs> I have a lot of hair, so I tend to use more coconut oil. And then just like a little bit. Make sure you don't just go like this because then your hair will really look greasy. So just go like a little bit like this, and then on your ends. I tend to put a lot more on my ends just because my ends are a little damaged and then a little bit on the top and then you guys can see it added more shine to my hair okay guys that was it for this hair tutorial i hope you found it helpful it's super easy to do and i'll see you guys in my next video bye